What's going on guys? Cameron here with the Lawn Care Life in Missouri and I want to share with you guys my experience last year uh, on the Ferris Z3X. So I know a lot of you guys that have been following me for a long time, you know that I do have the Ferris Z3X 61 inch deck, 37 horsepower Vanguard EFI engine and I just picked it up last year. Put 600 hours on that mower last year. It's crazy to even think of that, but I put a lot of hours on that machine. So I didn't get to show you guys last year when I demoed the mower for the first time, how it performed on the hills. So maybe you guys are looking to uh, buy the Ferris Z3X. Maybe you're looking to try it out this summer. Maybe you're wanting to, uh, to put it into use in your business. I want to show you guys how it will perform on the hill. You guys may be wondering, well, how's the Ferris Z3X hold hills? Man, check this video out. I'm going to show you. What's going on, guys? Got the Ferris Z3X on top of the hill over there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but hey, we're going to try it out on this slope, see how it hangs. Uh, the only thing I've used on this slope is a Hustler 48-inch uh, trim star. Walk behind, it worked really well, but now let's see how the Ferris hangs. Now, just a disclaimer. Hey, I've never used a stander. This is my first time using a stander uh, mower. Uh, where I'm at, zero turns, sit down zero turns are the most popular around here. Nobody really has a walk behind. Nobody has a stander for the most part. So uh, I'm excited to try it out. Uh, Ferris was nice enough to send me two demo units of the Z3X and the 3200Z. Gonna try those out today and see how I like them. Uh, will they compare to the Toros? I don't know, man, we'll find out. So this box truck is about 11 feet tall. You can kind of see the uh, height of the hill here. It's a pretty steep hill. I've always used a walk behind on it, so I'm interested to see how the stander will hold on this hill. Um, it's a little too steep for a rider, so I've always used a walk behind. But here is the Ferris 3200Z that the local Ferris dealer was uh, nice enough to loan me for a couple days to try out to see if it's something that I may be interested in buying for the season. I've always ran those Toro mowers, but uh, you know, the Ferris is looking pretty nice. It has the Kawasaki 35 horsepower engine on it. I'm gonna try it out today also, and just uh, see how it compares for the Toros. So here is the hill behind me that we're gonna try out that stander on. Hey, it doesn't look very steep, but uh, trust me when I say this, you can't put a rider on it always had to use a walk behind so i'm interested to see how this standard holds on the hill um, like i said the box truck's about 11 feet tall and it's about even this hill over here is about even with the uh, top of the box truck Right, tried out the standard on the first hill and it did really well uh, the conditions here aren't the greatest let me just show you uh, what we're working with we've had a lot of rain here in Missouri over the winter and uh, man the ground's been super super wet it hasn't dried out yet all winter long so uh, the ground a little soft uh, the grass definitely wet let's check it out as you can tell the ground is a little soft a little soft here in Missouri, but uh, you know the machine didn't slide despite the wet conditions so uh, I'm pretty impressed so far let's check out the tires over here it's dried off just a little bit but uh, the grass like I said wet tires are wet you know that's the first time I've ever rode 
a standard mower on a hill so I feel pretty comfortable uh, riding it on there I didn't feel like I was gonna slide down the hill or anything crazy like that but uh, that's just the first hill I have put it on let's take it to another hill and let's test it out a little bit more now I am down on the bottom of this hill it's steep it's steep from a walk behind even if you can see the box truck up there man it's way up there um, I don't know if the standard will hold a hill like this but uh, I know my 48 inch trim star does uh, does a good job have to be careful on it but uh, this is something you're definitely not gonna put a rider on will the standard be able to hold this hill I don't know man but we're gonna test it out guys man I, i'm i'm just blown away i can't even believe that stander held that heel as well as it did you know as you could see that first time i turned around i was super nervous super hesitant i thought that front end was going to lift up when i turned but it never did it stayed down i was able to make the turn head back the other way and as you could see with each pass i felt a little bit more comfortable on that stander making that turn and going back the other way now i would not recommend this heel to anyone uh, especially not on a standard definitely not on a zero turn sit down rider uh, mower um, on a walk behind you got to use you know caution when taking care of this hill because it's so steep and like I said before the conditions right now the ground's a little soft and the grass is wet so um, t those two things right there definitely don't help things out at all I know when the grass starts growing a little bit more and gets a little thicker 
um, and it dries out, this stander will hold on this hill even better than it did today. And you know, with the conditions that we had and it was able to hold the hill, man, I'm super impressed so far um, um, with the stander mower. Now, like I said before, you can't really tell how steep this hill is but let me walk you up the hill here and just kind of give you an idea um, from the top looking down so let's check it out definitely have to have your cardio in if you're climbing up this hill very many times but here we are at the top of the hill let's look down it doesn't look steep but I'm telling you guys it is a steep hill it's a steep hill for a walk behind I'll get the measurements a little later and stick them on here and give you an idea of the degree of the slope and uh, the height of the hill and all that. But uh, just looking at it right now, I'm blown away that this Z3X was able to handle this hill. All right, so now that you've seen what this Z3X can do on a hill, let's mount the camera to the actual mower itself and give you a bird's eye view, or better yet, a Z3X view of uh, hanging on this hill. Right, guys thanks a lot for watching hey if you have any questions on the ferris z3x be sure to leave them in the comments below i'll respond to you guys i'll answer any questions that you might have like i said i put 600 hours on the machine last year so i got a lot of experience um just in that one season with the ferris z3x on slopes on uh, the flat ground you know wide open areas small tight areas and i can uh, i can help you guys out so anyways guys i'm cameron with the lawn care life in Missouri. hope you guys have a blessed day and as always, God provides.